Hey, Theater Inspires! Welcome to Make It Sparkle, a series to get ideas and inspiration for your theater and dance shows. This video is about directing and teaching theater, and it features Ray Palaz. Ray has spent nearly 20 years in educational theater. He's directed state contest shows and coached over 100 individual and group acting, technical, and film entries. Some of Ray's credits include It's a Wonderful Life, Tarzan, Hairspray, Peter and the Starcatcher, and many, many more. Hope you enjoy this and get some fresh ideas. Traditionally, we, we announce our entire season at the end of the current season. So like we're getting ready actually to announce next season in a few weeks. And it was a little bit risky to try to project out what we were going to do for a musical this spring because we just didn't know what was going to happen with COVID. Um, so we wanted to pick something that had met a few different criteria. One that had a relatively small cast in case we had very few students who auditioned. One that had a flexible ensemble because if we had a lot of people audition, we wanted to be able to accommodate that. Um, in our program, I usually don't turn anybody away. I don't put them on stage. If they're interested in doing something behind the scenes, I try to find a place for them. Um, so, so those were the two big criteria. And then something that had audience appeal that was gonna kind of make people wanna come out to see theater because like a lot of theater programs, we, we didn't lose a ton of money, but we did lose a little bit of money over the last couple of years because we um, we did the streaming thing and that, you know, didn't pan out the way a lot of people hoped it was going to be. And then we also invested some money in some video equipment for streaming. And even, you know, as we move even out of the pandemic, uh, we've discovered a lot of students are interested in doing film stuff. So we're like, well, we need to make sure we've got some things for them to use. So it needed something that was going to hopefully help us turn a bit of a profit to kind of bounce back. Uh, so it met those criteria and I actually was in this production when I was in middle school and I had a lot of fun with it. The songs were memorable um, and, you know, easy to costume, easy set. We actually had uh, a piano and a doghouse already. So it kind of made some of those things easy. So all those things kind of went into making that particular decision for this year. The first thing to think about is that you don't have to make it look like the cartoons and the movie, especially when it comes to costume. Um, certainly, Charlie Brown has to have the iconic, you know, zigzag line on the yellow shirt. Um, and, you know, Snoopy has to look like a white and black beagle. Um, but beyond that, the characters are kids. And so having them wear things that, you know, approximate what the cartoons and the movies feature is what is really important. So we had uh, our chorus, we called them the neighborhood kids. Uh, some of them wore dresses and we had some dresses in stock that kind of had that very kind of straight line, little girl look to them. Um, and then we also, but we had some people who, you know, were wearing, we had a bunch of primary colored t-shirts and we, they wore that with some black shorts and some sneakers. and it, and it worked. Uh, for our other uh, principal characters, you know, like Schroeder and Linus, you know, they were wearing just polo shirts that we had. They didn't have to be a particular color. Um, they approximated. And then like Lucy and Sally um, were, you know, we put them in dresses, but we didn't, we weren't striving to find like the dress that looked just like it. Um, and so in that case, it made it very easy to costume because we had a number of things already on hand. And then we went thrifting for some stuff. And then actually one of our uh, actors, actually our actor who played Charlie Brown had a dress that um, one of our Sally's wore, they actually double cast several of the roles, that one of our Sally's wore that just happened to be pink and had straps and white polka dots. And I think that was like the closest that we came to having, you know, something that looked exactly like the, um, the cartoons outside of Snoopy and Charlie Brown. So that's like my biggest piece of advice is it doesn't have to be the exact 
What people will connect with are the performers telling a really great story with the songs. Um, there's a lot of, you know, one and two light humor bits that make people laugh. I mean, when you perform those well, I told the kids, it doesn't matter if you're performing in potato sacks, like the audience will enjoy it if you perform it well. And, um, and they did, they did a really nice job. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're a theater director or teacher and have ideas or tips to help other artists or students make their shows a success, please be sure to include it in the comments below.